Hey, what's going on YouTube? Midnight Crawler is back up in this piece with another episode of A Demented Corner. First one for 2017. Let's jump straight into it. Got an awesome Christmas package from Rabid Rachel last month. Naughty, Dirty, Nasty, Cult Movie Mania VHS release. So fucking stoked. Beautiful Crystal Pixie Adams on the cover there. This is an awesome addition, man. Clamshell, limited to 25. I got 24. Just made the cut. Love it. And it comes with a blue VHS. Check that out. Awesome stuff, man. Really cool. Also got Dorm. Tardin Asia Extreme. This is a pretty cool little Thai horror. Really dug the story. Some J-horror here from the director of Pulse, Doppelganger. Uh, this one was okay. Really wasn't that scary, but the story overall is pretty enjoyable. And The Last Dragon. Very cool flick. The cover threw me, threw me off a bit when she gave it to me. I didn't remember the movie. And started watching it, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember this. Classic, man, from the 80s. Good time. Watched it yesterday. So much fun. And she also hooked me up with some literature because I got to read more. Yep. Some comics. Also uh, signed by the writer here. Pretty cool stuff. I did kind of check it out a bit. It's about this Korean military leader who's trying to take on the Japanese invading armada. So it's pretty cool stuff from uh, about Korea. Awesome, awesome. Can't wait to check that out. Also picked up Mutant Girl Squad. Finally. Saw this on Netflix a couple years ago and never picked it up. But I'm so stoked to own it finally and check out all the special features. So much fun. Love it. All right, next we got some pawn shop pickups. Got transfers recently. One, two, and three. Did check out one, and man, the transfer is pretty shitty, but hey, man, it's still pretty good. It's still a good time, though. I really dug it. All these were a dollar. Millennium, lots of fun. I've had it on VHS for a while, so it's pretty cool to upgrade to DVD. You can also check it out on Netflix. <laughs> the Skulls, uh, that was a buck, so I had to, you know what I mean? It was, I hadn't seen it for a while, and you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good little flick to, you know, pass some time. You know, it's not the greatest, but. Here we go with Detective D and the Mystery of the Phantom Flame. Uh, really stoked to watch this because I did check the prequel, uh, The Young Detective D, a couple months ago. And uh, this, even though this one came out before that one, I thought this one was a lot better. Had less CGI and uh, fight fight uh, action choreographed choreography was uh, done by Samuel Hung, which is always a plus in my book. All right, so let's jump on to some gifts from Friends in Florida. Recently got a holiday gift card from the beautiful and very talented actress, Lisa Marie Cart. Oh, man, this is so awesome. I love cats. She loves cats. And I thought this was so freaking cool, man. She sent it all the way over here. And I love it. So cool. Also got a package from Mr. Sean Donahue, director of Descort Service and Cannibal Claws and, and other great movies. He hooked me up with a back door to Brazil. Oh yeah. You know what this is going. You know what this is about. Love it. Alright, he also hooked me up with some screeners, man. You know, gotta love screeners, man. High rise. I haven't checked this out yet. Definitely will though. Kind of curious. And Brothers Grimsy. This is one I had to check out right away. I'm a big Sasha uh what's his name? Baron Cohn? Yeah, Sasha Baron Cohn fan. Love is over the top comedy, and this was excellent. From this was just made for me, basically. It's ten out of ten. I loved it that much. So good, so good. All right, he also hooked me up with one called Creative Control, which I have not seen yet. I believe this is like some sci-fi. Looks really. I'm really curious to check it out. Looks pretty cool. And Ratcher, Ratter. Yeah, I haven't checked that one out either, but I will. So yeah, very cool. Thank you, Sean. Love the screeners and some backdoor action as well. All right, next up, I got a package from Mr. Fiend on film himself. 
man, he hooked me up with an awesome package. Starting off with Bouquet of Guts and Gore, American Giddy Pig. Oh, yeah. Man, I got to meet most of this cast in Florida last uh, summer, so it was really cool. And I, <laughs> I'm like late to the party. I've not seen this yet. Everybody else has, so I'm really stoked to check this out. I'm watching it later tonight. Also hooked me up with Phantasm Remastered. Now, you know, The Fiend, he doesn't, he hates slipcovers, so he hooked me up with the DVD, which is the extra. He kept the Blu-ray, and he chopped up the slipcover and gave it a casing and, you know, cut it up to where it looks like a, you know, like a, you know, like a legit DVD. It looks fucking, it's fucking cool as hell, man, and he, he even wrote on there, like, boy and... Yeah, he scratched out the Blu-ray, put the, just the DVD. That's fucking awesome, man. Love it. Also got the Hammer Films collection. I'm like so behind on Hammer Films. There's so many I haven't seen, but really stoked to uh, to get this because now I can catch up on a few. You know, I'm so behind on those. All right, next up, Jim Brown and Slaughter's Big Ripoff. Never seen this movie, but I do like Jim Brown. And man... This looks like a lot of fun. All right, next up, we got some Hong Kong cinema. First up, The Woman Night of Mirror Lake. All I know is Anthony Wong's in this. Y'all know him from uh, the early Category 3 films from the 80s. But yeah, man, he, he did another uh, cut-up special slipcover edition. So thank you for taking the time out to do that. It means a lot to me, Fiend. So I'm really stoked to check this out. Love, I love some Hong Kong cinema. Also got Sex Medusa. Oh, man, this, this is... A, he hated this movie, but I, I was like, send it my way, you know? I love bad cinema. But it's like an early Tokyo shock release, man, so really kind of curious to check it out. Yeah, love me some Tokyo shock. That's a, that's a Hong Kong release, though. Not from Japan. Uh, Black Sun, The Nanking Massacre. Unearth Films release. This is uh, by the director who also did Men Behind the Sun, which I saw like half of it. I have to finish it. So, yeah, really stoked to check that out. Yeah. And uh, now let's jump on to some Japanese cinema he hooked me up with. First up, Godzilla versus Gigan. Very cool. It's like a Region 2 release. So, I have a Region 3 player. It's no big deal, but really stoked to check that out. Next up, a, an anthology, Mystery and Horror Tales, Volume 1. It's like three three stories in this one. Pretty cool. Curious to check that out. And Underworld, another anthology. This one has a lot more stories, though. Six of them. Man. All on one disc, too. Oh, hell yeah. Looks like some fun. All right. And, bam, Lady Snowblood. Never seen this edition before. But hey, man, I've never seen Lady Snowblood, so I'm 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 stoked, man. Hell yeah! Threw in the VHS as well. Colobos. I haven't seen this. I, I believe not. But check this out. The VHS is yellow, man. Hell yeah! Some blockbuster too, man. Gotta love that old sticker. So that looks good against. That looks good against the blue uh, VHS right there, man. I'll just leave it like that. All right. And he also threw in some swag, like he always does. Cavity colors. Sticker, little insert from Terrifying Girls High School. Man, this looks so good. I can't, man. I need to check this out, man. Fuck yeah, I love, I love them pinky films, man. Pinky violence films. He also threw in a arrow bag, which is cool because I do have a black one. And uh, hold on, my cat wants to come in. <laughs> Guess he wants to make a cameo. Come on. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, I hit up the pawn shop and uh, didn't get the greatest things, but, you know, stuff there's only 50 cents. Well, the VHS, so got Jeepers Creepers, Tequila Sunrise. Never seen this movie, but I, I dig the cast, man. Kurt Russell, Michelle Pfeiffer, Mel Gibson, you know, fuck, it's about time I watched it. Maybe I've seen it, but it's been a while. The Last Seduction. This one intrigued me because it had uh, Linda Fiorentino. And if you guys have seen uh, Dogma, I believe she's like the, the, the main actress in it. So kind of, I'm kind of curious. And it's a thriller. I like thrillers. And last but not least, Say Nothing, which is um, a full-length VHS screener. And it's steeled. So that's the only reason why I picked it up. It's like supposedly like some kind of um, 
unfaithful fatal attraction kind of flick so yeah oh and last but not least my bad i got a book from a uh, fiend on film hard looks like some kind of a uh, comic book and literature good shit so yeah it's gonna be it guys for a demented corner lots of goodies man i'm set for the rest of the month so i'll be back with brews and views at the end of the month and uh just stay tuned till next time thanks for subscribing thanks for watching i'll catch y'all next time peace